Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the chorus section of a new TVB drama ending theme song sung by Hubert. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you a preview of what you're going to learn first before I teach you how to play it. Okay, so the chorus section goes like this. like that. Okay, so this chorus section appears like a few times in the song, it appears like I think three times in total. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and start learning this chorus, okay. So the right hand, it starts with the D up here, so middle C, we go up an octave C, we start on the D here. So right hand goes D, E, F sharp, and then fast two F sharps, and then one E, and then two fast F sharps, and then G. Okay, let's call this the first part. Let's break it up into many parts so it's easy to learn. Okay, that's the first part. Let's do it again. So it goes D, E, F sharp, two F sharps, E, and then two F sharps, and then G. Just like that. That's the first part for the right hand of this chorus. Okay, the left hand, there's two chords for this first part. It's B minor, B, D, F sharp, and G major, G, B, D. Okay, with those two chords in mind, B minor and G major, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this. Okay. So, right hand starts first on the D, E, and on F sharp, B minor together. On the two F sharps, G major by itself. And then, yeah, just like that. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes together, here, like that. Okay, that's the first part. Okay, now we move on to the second part. The right hand goes C sharp, D, E, A, C sharp, E, G, F sharp, like that, that's the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again, so it goes C sharp, D, E, A, C sharp, E, G, F sharp, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part. Left hand, there's two chords again, it's A major, A, C sharp, E, F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay, with those two chords in mind, A major and F sharp major, let's put the two hands together, like this. Right hand starts first with the C sharp, D, E and A major together. G, F sharp major by itself, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes together, here, like that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's move on to the third part of the chorus, okay? Right hand goes D, E, and then fast of F sharp, E, D, F sharp, and fast of F sharp, E, two F sharps, and then E, F sharp, G, like that. That's the third part. Let's do it again. So it goes D, E, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, like that for the right hand, okay? Left hand, uh, the two chords once again is B minor and G major in the series, okay? With those two chords in the mind, B minor and G major, let's put the two hands together. Right hand goes like this. Uh, right hand starts first, I mean, it goes D, E, and then F sharp and B minor two chord, two chord together, it goes. Second F sharp here with the G major chord together, like that. One more time, so the third part goes like this. Together, together, like that. That's the two hands together for this third part. Now moving on to the fourth part of the chorus. Right hand goes F sharp, D, F sharp, and then F sharp, E, and you hold that, just like that. Easy, five notes. So it's once again, it goes F sharp, D, F sharp, F sharp, E, like that. That's the right hand, the left hand, easy, it just continues in the four chord series A major, A, C sharp, E, and F sharp major. Okay, which you already know already from the first line of the first two parts. Anyway, so putting those hands together for this fourth part goes like this. Right hand starts first, after the F sharp, A major by itself, and F, like that. And after E, F sharp major by itself, hold it like that. Okay, once more, so it goes here. Okay, so that's the fourth part. Now, moving on to the fifth part. The fifth part is exactly the same as the first part, so we just save some time. So the fifth is the same as the first part, so. Like that, okay? One more time for the fifth part, exactly the same as the first part. So it goes together, like that. Now, moving on to the sixth part now. The sixth part's right hand goes 
C sharp D E A C sharp E G. Um, let's call this the sixth part, okay? I'll tell you why. So it goes like this: C sharp E E A C sharp E G. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so that's the right hand for the sixth part. The left hand, once again, is just A major and F sharp major. So it goes like this, two hands together for this sixth part. Right hand starts first, and then together. After the G, F sharp major by itself. Just like that. One more time, so, together. Like that. And then, uh, the right hand for the seventh part, it comes in continuing the... Uh, from the previous section because it instantly jumps in goes F sharp B, F sharp B, D, C sharp and after C sharp B minor by itself and D and G major by itself like that okay so that's the seventh part let's do it again for both hands because it's not that hard it's continuing from the previous part from the F sharp major back then and then the right hand goes F sharp B, F sharp E, D, C sharp and after C sharp B minor by itself D and G major by itself like that and one more time for the proper rhythm so it goes here, here, like that. Okay, now moving on, the eighth and final part of the chorus. Right hand goes E, D, E, E, F sharp, and you hold that. Just those five notes. One more time, so it's E, D, E, E, F sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? The left hand, for this part, just A major and F sharp major. Continue on the series, okay? So putting the hands together for this last part of the chorus, it goes um, right hand comes in first. After the two E's, A major by itself. F sharp, F sharp major by two, just like that. And that's it. That's the eight parts for the chorus. Okay, so it's pretty fast here, so you kind of have to like uh, practice slowly first and try to get the notes right, and then listen to the original, and you can pretty much get it because I pretty much like wrote, uh, I did this, not wrote, I kind of like played this by ear to the original, based on the original. So just write down the notes, what I said in the lesson, and then just go ahead and just match the chords and the right hand and uh, everything. Because I told you exactly what the chords are, told you what the notes are, told you where to put it together. And it's like, I guess you're taught to kind of like listen to the original and kind of like make it even like bigger, like my improvisations. Yeah, for example, uh, the stuff that I teach you in my improvisation, I make it kind of bigger with all these arpeggios and all these other techniques. It's fun to do, you can check it out in the description below. But for example, um, my covers, I make it up on the spot. Just for example, I just do something like this. So it's just kind of like having fun with the music and just music's ever changing just like that So you can do whatever you want. You can even make it like kind of sad Okay, so it's very fun like that and that's when our guests learn the tutorial of this lesson itself and then just go ahead and just have fun, okay? So yeah, enjoy your time around my channel. Check out the cover of this song that I also did in the, like in the what do you call it? In the what do you call it? it should be near. It should be right uh, what do you call it? it should be the video before this video, okay? If you check in the total videos. Okay, so yeah, check out this cover and check out all my other covers of all the TVB songs and all my other songs I have over 1000 tutorials and um, covers for you to like check out. And as for now, enjoy time around my channel and I guess see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership. Or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.